Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where you may notice we have a little bit more money previously. I just went through in our mech bay and scrapped the vehicle parts we've collected over the last little while. It wasn't a huge amount, but I feel like vehicles have been nerfed at least one time too many, probably more than that. I just don't think they're worth the tonnage. I really don't. At least not the kind of vehicles we're getting right now. Now, speaking of nerfs, there has been another nerf. That one just came in as of this morning when I'm recording this, which would be yesterday if you're watching this live, well, well not live, but uh, when this initially came out. So uh, this is, what is this day? This is August 1st that I'm recording this on. Okay, and it is the flak that has been nerfed. So they've removed one evasion pip ignore from the flak FCS, and it's still got that 20% chance for a crit. This is still good, but it's less good by a fairly wide margin. So let's just go ahead and I think deploy at this point. That's pretty much what we need to do. Let's check to see if there's any pilot training that needs to happen. That is a negative. Let's double double check that all of our mechs are good to go. They are. We've got a couple that are underweight, but that's to be expected. Greetings, Commander. Come on in. Okay, so what do we want to run here? I would kind of like to run... This one? The salvage isn't great. It's a blackout mission, so it might take a little while. That's okay. This is 230k for a priority salvage. I think we're going to run this straight down the middle. And this is, of course, exactly what we're going to run. We have a max of 400 tons. We are not hitting that 400 tons. So let's go ahead and deploy this, and it should go okay. These blackouts can get kind of spicy sometimes, but we'll see how this one goes. We're going to be probably facing two lances and maybe a group of turrets. That's generally what I plan for when we're going to do a uh, when we're going to do a blackout mission. I plan that the first area is going to have one lance of enemies and the turrets. Which it usually has one or the other, but I, I, I figure for both. And then when we get to the second location, that's usually something like a base defense. So we'll just see what we're up against here. Any moment now it'll load in. Any moment now. There we go. We need to investigate the bio lab. One of our bio-research stations has gone dark in the Conroe system. We're not sure why, but Caritan-affiliated groups have been asking about purchasing some specific supplies we also use in that system. Investigate and find out what's going on. Bio-research station? We better be careful here, Commander. I don't fancy catching a new type of cold. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, and I agree. Unfortunately... Hasn't loaded yet. Okay, there we go. Now it's loaded. Good. So let's go ahead and deploy this. Command interface initiated. Okay. Two main bases for the biolab. Of course, we don't get to choose our deployment locations in this sort of mission. This is a little sketchy, but... Uh, speaking of a little sketchy, this landing location. Uh, that's a little sketchy, to be sure. I think we can make our way down this, though. So. Move order received. Pretty sure we can. Heading up. Okay, this looks like this will be fine. Roger that. So we're just going to head on over this way. And we're going to need to investigate this up here. Moving out. And indeed, that is exactly what we shall do. On the move. There we go. Location we managed to get everybody past the Centurions. That was what I was worrying about. We're just going to hang out up here, let the Centurions catch up a little bit. On my way. Copy that. I get you. On the move. Okay. So this round, these three are going to stay put. The Centurions are Moving going out. to move up. Move order received. Okay. Now we can come in here and see what's going on. So we'll investigate this with our way. two units. Moving to position. Okay. Turret's coming online. 
Sounds good. So we've got this light thunderbolt emplacement here. This is our long range centurion. We're going to position it here. Our short range centurion is going to close in over here. Affirmative. Our Clint is going to close in over here. Heading out. Okay. We've now entered combat. For orders. Our mongoose is going to make its way all the way over here. We're even going to sprint to make it into this cover, I think, if we can get a turnaround position. Yes, we can. Fantastic. The mongoose heads out here and attacks his light sniper turret. All it's got is an AC2. Good chunks of damage there. Ready for Excellent. Order. Our short range centurion is going to close in to here. Roger. We're going to light up this light thunderbolt emplacement. Confirmed. That was a lot of damage, but it's not dead. Solid connection on that one. Good okay. to go. Our Clint here, we're a little concerned about this geothermal heat. So we're instead going to make our way out over here. Moving to position. Just got a sensor trace on something. I'm not actually sure what. We're going to go into short range targeting mode. We're going to light up this light thunderbolt emplacement. Okay, didn't quite penetrate that armor. That's fine. Got something you want Our stealth is going to close in up here and hit this large laser turret. Copy that. I'm not going to bother with the chaff countermeasures here. Okay. And finally, this centurion is going to back off down over here to drop LOS. We'll go. And we're going to fire on this light thunderbolt emplacement and finish it off. Should have tagged first. Oh well. One less target. Okay. Those thunderbolts both missed. We're very happy about that. So did all those large lasers. The machine guns hit, but the large lasers Damn did not. That AC2 did, but we don't exactly care about that. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. At this point, our mongoose is going to head around over... I would like to go this way to get our evasive up. And in fact, maybe that's okay. Confirm. Let's do it. Let's come up here with the mongoose and finish off this light thunderbolt emplacement, ideally. Not quite destroyed there. That was Solid very close. Commander. This centurion is going to close in up over here. And we're going to fire on whoever our AC-20 has better hit odds on, which is this large laser. I hope we don't stray shot here. I copy. And we didn't. Okay. Structure exposed here on this large laser turret. Target's taken a critical hit. Took a hard hit there. We're going to move up with this centurion, and we're going to fire, I think, on this light sniper turret. We're going to fire the light tag first. Give them everything I've got. Perfect. Smoke no more AC-2s there. Yes, Commander. Our stealth is going to position somewhere like here, where we're out of LOS of that light thunderbolt turret. Position we're going to finish off that large laser turret. There we go. One less turret. And finally, our Clint off. is going to move into here. Aye, aye. And finish off the light thunderbolt emplacement. I copy. Okay. Let's move to the biolab complex. Turret destroyed. So we have exited combat. Where is the biolab complex? It is over here. I like this approach over here through these trees. There's turrets over here that we see. That's okay. So we're going to head on over this direction. Coordinates received. And we'll just see what we can see over there. Not a whole lot. I mean, these guys are going to have to wait for the Centurions, but we'll just hold up over here. Centurions will close in a bit. Coordinates received. Okay. That didn't trigger it. That's good. Moving out. This mongoose will chill. Affirmative. And we're going to head on Location over. Confirmed. Just allowing the centurions to catch up right now. 
On the move. And the Centurions are largely caught up. I'm going to give them one more turn here to pull slightly ahead. Moving to position. There we go. Aye, aye. Okay, now we're going to start aye, moving aye. in over here. But under quarantine by Karita, huh? Okay. That's an ambush. So they've got an occupying lance here. I don't know what's going on with these turrets. Currently, there are no turrets activated. By. So we're going to move in like so. This is our short-range Centurion that will move into here. Our Clint, we will position here. Affirmative. And that'll do for now. Okay, entering combat. It looks like these turrets are not online. Is this only the three mechs? That's a Stinger, Mongoose, and Stinger. That's not very frightening. Fascinating. Orders. Absolutely fascinating. We're going to move into the rear arc of this stinger and try to roll up a kick. It's probably not going to work. It. Yeah, it didn't work. If it had, this stinger would have been dead this round. Negative damage. Negative damage. That's still some good internal damage there. So this stinger will move immediately, and we'll see what it decides to do. They're flanking. Okay, that's completely acceptable. We expected something like this would happen. Oh, they don't like me at all. Waiting for orders. We're gonna walk in with our AC twenty here. And you still have six evasive. Okay. Here. We're going to position here. Roger that. It odds are 32% or 57. On. Okay, we still missed, but that was some good damage to that stinger. Waiting for orders. Okay, our Clint here. We can position here. I don't really I love this it. position for stray shot, but here we are. I'm going to go ahead and fire the rocket 20. Are we better off in short range or long range targeting here? Long, or rather short range. Okay, light them up. Let's go. It's a lot of stinger damage. Score to critical hit. I'm out of SRM. Okay, so this Centurion is at this point. Perhaps going to fire on this stinger, or perhaps going to. Change position here. Thought I saw a spot over here. Okay, that's kind of okay. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Targeting for an alpha strike. And that's one dead stinger. I mean, this is not very threatening, in all honesty. We're going to move in with our stealth into this rear arc. We're going to light this guy up. I'm not going to fire the chaff because I don't want to sensor scramble our... Our mech there. That's a lot of damage there. He's actually dead. Fantastic. I don't know why they thought they had a chance against us. Okay, their base defenses are now coming online. That does change the landscape a little bit. Standing by. So this mongoose is... Is this going to be a charge? It's impossible. Okay. So this mongoose is going to move up over this way. We see a light dual gun with two, two light rifles. Grenade launchers there. This is a thumper artillery. Is it only the three? It might only be these three. We're going to move our mongoose up to here. Because we are slightly exposed here, we're going to vigilance. And we're going to fire on this mongoose's rear arc. We could theoretically kill it here. I come. We didn't. We got some good damage on it. We'll see what it does. Slightly unfortunate that it hit that large laser, but it's okay. Reporting in theory. Minimal damage. Receiving you. Our stealth is going to respond to this turret coming Power. online. The stumper turret has to go.
Decent damage there. Stand Next by. up, the Clint. The Clint is going to head over here. And we are going to fire on one of these. And it's going to be the light dual gun. Copy that. Not the best hit on the pulse lasers there, but at least the ERP PC hit. The long range Centurion here is going to move Copy forward. That. And we're going to fire on one of these two. And it's the light grenade turret. This does mean that we're going to take some grenade fire. There's not a ton that we can do about that, unfortunately. We're going to sprint this Centurion up to here, and we're going to pot shot that AC-20 at this Thumper turret. And we missed it on 70%. That's unfortunate. That means that we're going to take a Thumper shot. Light rifle shot on the Mongoose. Half of them missed. Oof. Yeah, I was really hoping that that wouldn't be the case. But that could have been far worse, I'm honestly. Minor damage. Okay. I'm here. So, at this point, the mongoose is going to move in to here. To the rear Location arc of their mongoose. And we're going to light this guy up. Roger. And he is dead. One left target. Perfect. Commander. Next, our stealth is actually going to move over this direction. And we're going to attempt to finish off this grenade turret, which actually didn't fire at us. And we are going to fire our chaff countermeasures just in case. Or no, it did fire at us, but only the machine guns. That's right. I was hoping that we'd get the crits that we needed there, but alas, no such luck. The AC-20 Centurion is going to come up over here. Moving to position. And we're going to light up that thumper turret. Roger. We missed the autocannon again. That's very unlucky. Critical that was an 80% chance there. Standing by. Okay, this centurion is our long range centurion. I'm going to move it down over here. And we're going to fire on the light grenade turret. This should kill it. Engaging target. Fantastic. That turret is gone. Ready for and our Clint absolutely has to move up this way. It is required. We have to light up this thumper turret. Locking on target. And we didn't destroy it. Target's taking a critical hit. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Ow. That's why I want that thumper turret dead, but missing two high damage or high, high percentage AC-20 shots in a row feels bad. <laughs> okay, so our mongoose is going to come around over this way. We're going to sprint into essentially melee range of this dual gun, but we can't melee a, a, a turret. Of course. There we go. One more turret dead. Target destroyed. And one to go. So the stealth is just going to spin around here. Any mech that we have here is capable of destroying the thumper turret. And there we go. That turret is gone. Excellent. So that wasn't all that difficult. A couple of bad rolls on those AC-20s does mean that we took two unnecessary thumper shots, but no major long-term damage there. And hey, maybe we can salvage a thumper out of that. That would be nice. Mongoose took some damage, but nothing we can't repair. Grenade launcher, there's a thumper artillery. We're taking that, for sure. Any thumper ammo? No. Okay. It's a little unfortunate that we didn't get any thumper ammo out of it. I'm not a huge fan of thunderbolts. There's a rangefinder here. And I think we'll take that. I don't see anything else here that's super great, so let's see what we get. A couple of light mech parts. Machine gun, basic cockpit, can always use another heatsink. Okay, sounds good. I should have sold that grenade launcher too, shouldn't I? If I was going to sell the grenade launcher ammo. 
I just, for some reason, didn't even register that it was there. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, grenade launchers are, in my opinion, not really worth the wait. So we're probably not going to worry about it. The real question is... What are we going to have in terms of repair times? Oh, that's not bad at all. 15k? Three days? Do it. Top priority is that mongoose, though. Or rather, the wolverine, not the mongoose. Wolverine, then stealth, then clint, then mongoose. So we're going to take forward a couple of days here. That finishes up our repaired mech bay. Which means that we have another drop position. We're going to take forward two more days to finish the wolverine. Job's done. Okay, so now the Wolverine is done, which means we can drop that as well. Let's check our barracks and make sure that we Commander. don't have any training to do. And in fact, we do. We'll Three, always four. take a point of gunnery yeah. when that's yeah. an option. El Duce, what do you drive? The Mongoose? I kind of feel like Escapist. Training there we go. Commander? Aye, aye. Pacifist is absolutely going to take Bandit here. It's too good to pass up. Standing by. Okay, sounds good. Well, it's a little bit of a short episode, but it is about time to put a cut in here, I suppose. And next episode, we are going to be able to deploy yet another time before this financial report comes. We're doing a good job of building our funds back up. I'm pretty happy about that. I guess we can go ahead and grab another engineering upgrade. Uh, those are going to be pretty expensive, to be sure. And maybe we should hold off on that. Or just grab drive repairs. Sure thing. That works too. It'll take a bit you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.